Well, folks, on our way back from Birmingham, we're driving down the road and we see this sign. Oh, my goodness. What is this guy? What is this guy? What? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, folks, up here's a sign on the side of the road that tells people to dump out their floor mats. Oh, there's the sign. It was there. Look, a whole bunch of people no, dumped out their floor mats. Drive. Well, folks, we didn't get to stop and empty out our floor mats because they're not dirty. But a lot of people did. They covered up the sign. I mean, there's so many people been stopping there and dumping out their floor mats. I never saw a, a highway sign that said this is the place to stop and dump out your floor mats. But sure enough, they've dumped out so many floor mats that the whole sign is even covered. Anyhow, as you can tell, I'm on my way home. It was a nice, heartfelt trip that I've had. And I'm going home to the lake to make y'all some more videos and have a blue cup. So I'm probably not gonna make no more videos today or tomorrow or maybe not even for the rest of the week because that's the kind of mood I'm in. I think I just need to think about other things for a while. So maybe I'll take a break. Maybe I won't. We'll see how I feel. But thanks for watching. There's plenty more to come. I've got lots of stuff to edit. So you will definitely not miss any entertainment from me. Bye, folks. Give Happy a call this morning. See if he's going to answer the phone. Hey, it's Richard. I'm sorry I missed your call. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know, man. I'm building gardens. I'm eating grits. I like to do that too. I have me a snack this morning. Where you got? Where you at? You made them? No, no, no. I best go ball. Oh, you at the Huddle House? No, hell no, you can go to pick and save, brother. They already made? All you can possibly eat for $2.75. You can't eat it all. They already made? Hot, warm, yeah. like at the deli? You get, you get the, at the deli, you get uh, eggs, grits, biscuits, meat, for $2.75. Well, damn, I want, I'll take some of that. What deli? Damn right, and you cannot eat it all, I promise. What deli? <laughs> what deli? The deli you can get at his grocery. The grocery store up there where he lives. No, it's called the pick and it's called the pick and save. Oh. Yeah. You pick it off the shelf and you'll save. Yeah, right. Then they get, they get really come up with the there. idea because the the guy that started the place would pick his boogers and he saved them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they they said, yeah. <laughs> Did you do what? They charge you ten percent on top of the cost. Right. We got one of those. They call it the uh, we got one of them like that. They call it grocery outlet. Yeah. So you pay their cost. It, you pay for their cost plus ten percent. Yeah. Yep. So, so I missed your call at three thirty in the morning. I was sleeping. I was tired. I was well. I was tired after that trip. I didn't really sleep that good because the first night I slept on a recliner that wasn't that comfortable. The second night I slept on a couch that was about as long as half of me. Then the third night. The third night, half, half the night, I slept on that couch again, and then I realized I can pull that couch out into a bed, so I slept the rest of the night okay. I didn't realize the damn thing was a sleeper sofa in the living room at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. So I'm finna buy me a damn garden tiller. I'll just get a shovel. Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? I was the guy with the shovel, working the shovel while I was sitting in the lawn chair. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, barely. <laughs> I mean, you barely work it, what I remember. Uh -huh. Well, I was shoveling. That's the only way I could shovel was working in, sitting in that damn lawn chair. Yeah. I had a buddy of mine just sit on his ass and drive form steak. Doesn't mean no way. You're breaking up, man. You must be moving. I am. Must be walking around. Come on. So Charles, uh, showed up. They all drunk or gone or something. Oh yeah. I did more work yesterday by myself than I did the whole time as women. Really? Now sometimes you just need to work by yourself. You get more done that way. I know, but I don't like it. I don't like it. 
Yeah, I know. For you to like talk to. Right. And then to do work. Crank up, that. crank up the radio. I do that. I know you do. I tried to get my damn phone to work. Can't make it work. Hey, don't forget when you're recording videos on your phone or whatever, you don't need the music playing. I can't make the video work. You know you'll learn it. You'll figure it out. But just don't forget really? that you you gotta have that music off before you can you can so you can make money off those videos. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna on YouTube because on personal it don't matter, does it? Right, if it's just personal, if you're just making a video for personal, it don't matter. But if I was you, I would make every music, I mean, every video, like you were going to put it on YouTube. Because every video you put on YouTube, people's going to watch it and you can make money from it. So, man, I'm going to have to teach you how to do it, get you on this damn thing. Hey, Charles thinks I owe you a bunch of damn, like like I'm supposed to give you half we of my month. We done been through that. We done been through that. We ain't going to go through a whole hash. I gave him my phone number. To call. I said, look, don't talk about this on Facebook. Call me. And he never called me. <laughs> yeah. Did we go through this yesterday? But did you talk to him, I guess? Yeah. Okay, all right. I got those boots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Sit down, Zach. Anyhow, you got rain up there today? You getting some rain? Yeah, it's weird it was. Yeah. Well, I put uh, butternut squash in the ground this morning. Hello? I just bought me a $10 watermelon. A $10 watermelon? I believe it was up in there. It must be filled with vodka. I don't know. I'm going to fill it with a damn uh, filet knife, but I'm going to fill it with. I think you're covering the microphone with your hand or something. I'm trying to put it on. See, I'm going I'm to I'm fill it with a damn filet knife. The, the sound is real muffled, like, the sound is real muffled, like you're talking like this. Okay, the, we back to the watermelon? I can hear you, but it still kind of sounds funky. Well, what is, is the phone in your pocket? No. <laughs> is the phone underwater? I got it in my hand. Okay, that's better. Um. Anyway, I'm going to cut the damn watermelon up and eat it. I hear that. Yeah. Even though you had grits already, you gonna still eat some watermelon? I am this evening. Oh, for that, yeah. After work. Yeah, he's full, he's full. You know, them grits will fill you up. Man, we had a second freaking fighter jet crash within one week here. Really? Yeah, before I left to go to the hotel, we had one crash over uh, in Niceville somewhere, and then yesterday, Another one crashed on the base, and the first pl the first pilot died. The second pilot from yesterday is okay. They been to that True Leaf place? <laughs> I don't know. They <laughs> I, they been to the dispensary. I bet you they're gonna stop flying. They're gonna ground those damn F thirty five fighters for a while to so figure figure out what the hell's going on. Why are they crashing so much? Yeah, they just tell her about the damn dispensary. <laughs> I don't believe them pilots are smoking pot. <laughs> they're learner pilots. Yeah, they're they're beginners. They're uh, but like student driver. They student yeah. student pilots. Yeah, let's put a student. They stay away from Fort Walton. I like that. Let's put a damn student pilot in a freaking multi million dollar fighter jet with yeah, uh kidding. with bombs and missiles on it. Somebody's got to learn, though. Yeah. Yeah, you got to learn. Well, what happened to those learner things, the machines? They got uh, some simulators. Yeah, they got simulators. I'm well, sure they put them on video spin? games before they put them in the plane itself. There must be a problem with the plane. They ain't got no brakes. Hell, I ain't got none either. <laughs> you put your... You throw a damn brick out on a rope to stop? A big old... Throw a center block out the back of the, back, back of the van and when you get ready to stop? Put your, just open the door and put your foot down. There you go. How many pairs of shoes you go through a week? I'm barefoot. I'm a little country boy. Oh, yeah. No shirt, no shoes, I no problems. <laughs> Knee deep in the water. Yeah. All right, I got my last thing. Fix and go. I got no clothes before I get to. I love you, brother. Have a good day. All right, brother. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Uh, hey. Yep. Oh, oh he's talking to somebody else. Okay. 
That was fun, folks. Don't y'all just love talking to Happy? I do.